There's a beautiful shot by photographer Jim Pydra, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, he's back in the saddle again. We're here at the Cleveland Botanical Gardens. And I'm standing here with Margaret Thresher. Good morning, Mags. How hey, are you? you? Look at our look at our six feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, you guys are open. I'll stagger ahead of you. All right. You guys are open. Congratulations. Are. Um, just reopened last week. Is that correct? That is right. Uh, so how did uh, how are things going so far? Fantastic. So we reopened and we welcomed about a thousand guests in our first few days. How about that? And. People, by and large, obeyed social distancing, mm -hmm. which is so important. When you start to get in close proximity with someone, yeah. really important to wear your mask. Okay. No, you, you guys, were, we were at Holden uh, last week. Uh, same thing. Are you guys requiring people to wear a mask out here? Absolutely. Yes. So, advanced tickets are really important to remember. Mm -hmm. CBGarden.org. Okay. Make your reservation. It's best to print out your ticket. Yeah. If you don't have a printer, you can just bring your mobile phone. Have a seat. Hey, <laughs> look at this. Yeah. It's like you stopped right there on purpose. Yeah, I know. Just a little gym, a little gym called framing. Um, so we have some announcements today that haven't even been in a press release. That's right. right. So we are opening the glass houses today. Okay. So next we're going to be headed to Costa Rica mm. for a little bit with you. Love it. And we'll find out what's been happening in our rainforest for the past three months. So okay. Yeah, we're excited to open those. Those are popular. Re see, new stuff, reopening, new stuff. <laughs> Things are just growing here That's at right. the Cleveland Botanical <laughs> Garden. When we come back, a beautiful garden. Lots to show you guys. Fox State News at 7 o'clock starts right now.